Fox News alert because now that the midterm elections are over, you can finally find out how much Obamacare will cost for the next year. Some of the price hikes expected to be in the double digits. Meantime, the Supreme Court will consider a challenge to Obamacare tax credits coming up. The Secretary of Health and Human Services saying the subsidies will survive the legal review and there's nothing for consumers to worry about. So I think the most important thing for consumers to know is that nothing has changed. That the tax credits that they'll be signing up for and the ones that they have for those who are enrolled, that we want to stay enrolled, will be continuing. And so as we go into open enrollment, nothing has changed. Dan Gerstein is the president of Gotham Ghostwriters. David Avella is the president of Go Pack, and they are here to debate this today. All right, interestingly enough, Dan, you're on the Democratic side of things, but you don't like Obamacare. No, I, I thought it was a poorly constructed bill, and in particularly the, politic, the politics around it were so poorly handled that it's not a surprise that we're in this super contentious, confused environment. Okay. And I think this is going to be a big test for the president right now because the website debacle last year fundamentally shook people's confidence in him and his administration, and I think was a big factor, um, not just in the drop in his approval ratings, but in the midterm drubbing that the party took. All right, so you talk about the politics of it all. David, I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out that this was put off later than last year as far as how much it's going to actually cost people. They did that after the midterm elections on purpose, right? Well, as with everything on Obamacare, there has to be a lack of transparency because the more people learn about it, the less they like it. And you don't have to take my words for it. You can take Jonathan Grubber, who is one of the architects of Obamacare, who said lack of transparency is a huge political advantage and basically call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. But basically, that was really, really critical for us getting it passed. Right. So in other words, not telling people everything that was actually in the bill. Remember, Nancy Pelosi famously said that we'll find out about it after we pass it, right? We'll read exactly. it after we pass it. So, so what are we to make now about this challenge in front of the Supreme Court? I mean, this has got to be making people within the administration nervous, does it not, Dan? To some degree. I mean, they survived one court challenge. Um, uh, but I think the, the bigger issue is what's going to happen in the, in the months before it, right? Are the Republicans going to try and, and um, stage a showdown over repeal? which I think will only backfire on them um, and squander the opportunity they have right now after these midterms where if they present themselves as the adult grown-up counterpoint to the president, um, an ability to govern, their interest in governing um, and fixing the problems with Obamacare, they could actually really um, seize the advantage well, from the yeah. president. But if they focus on repeal um, and look like all they do is care about ideology and hurting the president, okay. um, they're going to squander David, this advantage. Since you're on the Republican side, what should they do? Strategically, we ought to look at certainly there will be a vote up or down on Obamacare in both the House and the Senate. But strategically, and, and you referenced it, this Supreme Court case next year is either going to create a Obamacare forever or have us starting over anew. Because if the Supreme Court rules that some states can have subsidies and some some citizens can have right. subsidies, it's not going to last. So, so politically, do you think members of Congress are going to wait to see what happens in the Supreme Court before they dive into this battle? There will be a vote before the Supreme Court rules. Right. Uh, so that's, the Republican base will demand it. Mm -hmm. there, there's just no getting around it, that. It's going to happen. The question is, is when do solutions start actually occurring? And there, we can want Obamacare to be gone, but as long as the president sits in the White House, it's not going to be gone. But uh, when the Supreme Court rules next year, and as Obama continues to bring down the numbers of people who are going to be in it, first it was 13, now it's nine, that's assuming 7 million people who are in it stay right in now it. stay in and it right now. And they might actually get out of it because the penalties, we're trying to figure out whether or not people actually have had to even pay the penalties. Right. It may not be worth it to actually buy the insurance. Guys, thanks so much for the discussion. Time for my take now. With less than a week to go before Americans can go 